Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Lawn Boys Post 1975, and welcome to a Wednesday video. Not a Wednesday vlog. There will be vlogging in it, or it will be slightly vloggish. But you've re that's right, vloggish. It's like vlogging, but there's less calories and stuff. You've read the title. Yeah, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call it right now, but there's a reason. Anyway, um, people seem to like me reviewing Chinese tats, and as you know. I absolutely adore Chinese tat. It's kind of an exciting process to review and to literally go through the steps, you know, with you guys because you don't know what you're going to get. It generally goes, there is no middle ground. It generally goes into two areas. One, great stuff. Uh, and I'm two for one on this. Great stuff. I found two really, really good systems. And that's why I like to share this with you because some of us want to be outside of the mainstream of that world. Not to be cool, but stuff like that. You know, like portable consoles. Yeah, I could have a Game Boy Advance or an SP or, or a Dingo or stuff like that. But it's kind of cool to whip it out in public and have something that no one else has got. I don't know. You know what I mean, hopefully. It's not a showing off thing is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I found two really good ones, and I found one absolutely terrible one, which is the X Station, which is rapidly becoming my most popular video. I don't know, I guess shit sells. Not the product, the the video. Anyway, right, so this is an interesting one because I found out very, very, very little about it online when I got sent it. I did look at the prices, not to be ungrateful to who sent it to me, um, who wants to remain anonymous. Thank you anyway. What does anyone want to remain anonymous? Well, what is it with me? It's hurting my feelings. Um, yeah, so I know what it costs. I am going to say that. It's it's reasonable. It's around about the 20 to £25 pound mark if you shop around. Its name is something else. Hence the fact that I have the instruction booklet, which I will go back into after I've opened the box to share with you guys. Because the only name I can find on it is the MP5. I mean, I don't know. That must be its name then, because MP it says the, the formats it can read are MP4, MP3. So MP5 must be its name. Unless, the, I don't know, is that a file format? MP5 RM slash RMVB. Yeah, seriously, that's what it's called. I think, but if you search that, you probably won't find it. Anyway, let's break into it in all its glory. It comes in this ickle tiny box. And once again, they've copied... Well, I say once again, one of the systems I you know reviewed went its own way. But they've copied the PSP thing. I don't know, is it like when you get these rip-off controllers that someone's bought the mould to it and it's cheap and easy for them to pump them out? Yeah, so there you go. So there's nothing on the front apart from video games and then it's got a picture of a movie, a uh, USB... Uh, music, games, camera, and microphone. You can hardly see it. My eyesight's really not that bad, despite the fact that I work nights and they turn the lights off. Claims Direct, where are you? But I can read fuck all on the back. It's got function, and it's so small. Then it's got, yeah, it's got a diagram of what all the buttons do, and again, look at it. So small. What is that? I mean, I know it's cost-cutting, but you could still fit it. Look at it compared to the other boxes I got. It ain't that much smaller, so why can't you fit stuff on it? Anyway, apparently it's 8 gigabytes and it's got 1,200 games on it. Whether they repeat or not, I don't know. But, yeah, let's try and read it. Can't. Can't read it. It says specification. Can't read that. It says key operation. Can't read that. Should have put a magnifying glass up, shouldn't I? That would just make for a poor video. Video games. That's the colour I've got. Didn't have a choice. And then on the side, there's a sticker that just says Made in China X0009VXOR. 4.3 inch screen. Anyway, let's get into it. The box. Look, you got your stupid. That's got nothing to do with it. Car going all like design, you know, like CDT or whatever craft design technology. And yeah. But it's a nice box. It's sturdy and stuff like that. And I like sturdy because, well, I don't know if it came all the way from China, but. It's going to take a hammer in, so that's good. There's the inside of the box. It's standard for these things, you know. It, it looks it looks like that. So we'll pull out the stuff first. Obviously, the manual's out here. I'm not going to be able to read that to you people. Seriously, look. I thought the other ones were small, and I could read them. Bunch of screen displays saying various modes. Uh, can work out that it's got a record function. It's got a camera. 
Uh, you can play video on it. Other than that, I can't. Well, it's hardly a manual, is it? It's toilet paper. I can't really give you any more information. I wish I could. I couldn't find a digital one online either. Um, so it's uh, it will connect up to your telly composite. Not really helpful with how long the lead is. That seems to be a given with these things. Uh, that's nice. I've got a power unit, which is obviously, well, the wrong power for us. Power, power, power for us. We need to have, um, obviously, three prong, because we have real plugs in England. Um, US Standard USB. Assuming that's the charge. Anything else? Headphones, I'm assuming these are going to be... I've got to draw these. I keep them in case of emergencies, because I go through headphones like you wouldn't believe. Like, put them on for, you know, sleeping during the day. White noise, the sound of rain. Can't see it right now, it's raining. Get it for real today. Uh, just roll over in the night and go, well, day, and crack them. So, yeah, I actually keep them for emergencies, but they are god awful. Now, the unit. to keep all that shit out, because I will probably need it. Comes in this bag. As you can see, it's standard. Why do they always make them look like I said before? PSPs. Right. It's got some weight, not a massive amount of weight. I like this. Quality tested past. Yeah, that means piss all, really. Shoulder buttons work. You got a D pad, which doesn't feel too bad, to be fair. You got an analog nub, which feels all right, but I sincerely doubt it's analog you've got what your four buttons which are square triangle zero x yep you're not even trying to hide it it says x6 on the bottom which is completely different to the um the uh, the, the the box or manual it's got some marks on the screen they're not scratches they seem to be smears so i don't know there you go i don't know if they're polished out i mean maybe there's some bloke with sticky fingers and the wear just went all over it you got power at the top you got av out headphone normally they do the same thing don't they and usb there and shoulder buttons that work so you've got four six buttons okay volume control there and then start and select search select and start underneath so let's turn it on that's a good start isn't it awkward jump cut now uh i had to play around with it and work it out from the screen because I can't read the manual. It seems to have three positions, like a off, charge, or a charge and play, which you select to basically play it while you're charging, so you can play it essentially while it's flat, which I guess is an interesting mode, or, you know, um, just out and out charge it. So that, again, probably not an issue if I could read the manual, which is an issue because I can't read the manual. Uh, which is a shame because I miss all the great pigeon English glory. Right, so the, the screen is, it's like the, um, the other one I bought, which is it? That one. Where it's got a bunch of games as icons. And then there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom. So you've got all these games listed. You've got Super Mario, Contra, Battle City of the King, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, etc, etc, etc. Now this is supposed to be a Famicom, um, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Game Boy Advance. It's 64-bit. But whether it can play any of those games, I don't know. Uh, there is no sort of external expansion. No, there is. There's a TF card. So then basically it's an emulator system, which is funny because it didn't mention that on the box anywhere whatsoever. It just said 12, well, not on the box, in the manual. Or well, the advert, 1,200 games. Uh, and then beneath that, you've got, Christ, this is small as well. Games, music, photo, cinema, camera, tool, browser, setting, which is all these things along here. So obviously that's where you copy your music to because you can play uh, videos on it and stuff. So... We'll have a look at, we'll have a look at something at the top. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. There we go. Please wait. Screen seems all right. Right, restart, load, progress, option, quit. So it's got save states. So restart, because I haven't got a save state. Is that the right button? No. Oh, it's not going well. Select start. There we go. It's the bottom button. Oh, Christ. So, it's a tad tinny, but uh, the music quality, it's not... That was my camera. Don't say I don't reward you for uh, Easter eggs. It's not balls, right. Can we, we can quit this. So, this is Crash Advance, I guess. There we go. Yeah, Crash Advance. 
Which I've done a list of gameplay on my channel, but it's in Japanese. Right, so... I can't really you know, show you much about how great it's going to be, because I will connect it up to the TV, providing it works. That's why these things are exciting. So, yeah, uh... Like I said, I'm quite impressed. Stage select. There we go. So, yeah, quite impressed, you know, um, in the screen so far. But then, this is not the way to do it. I'm just going to show you a little bit. Right, what does it look like to me? Slow. This is not a promising start. Right. And so we come back and we go to quits. No, we come back. I'll get it right in a minute. There we go. Zero. Circle is quit. Again, all these things could be avoided if I could read the menu. Let's have a look at Final Fight. So is this SNES? Uh, restart because I have no save state. I don't know. By the way, when you boot it up, you get a whole bunch of Street Fighter screens. Metro City. Oh, hang on. Resume. I'm trying to turn the volume on. Final Fight 1. So, this is Game Boy Advance. Music's not so good on this one. Yeah, it really isn't so good on this one. Right. Alright, Hager or Hager? This one appears to play a lot better. A lot better. Obviously that's not the best way to show you, nor can I stop people slapping me. A lot of them. This is a really good port of the game. I actually have this on my Game Boy Advance, so I would say this seems to be playing fine. In defense, on the Crash Bandicoot stage, it was underwater, so whether that counts, I've not played the underwater stage, about why it was balls. Who knows? Who knows, McLeod? Right, anyway, enough of that. Cinema. Right, uh, directory list, tag list, directory list. There is something in there. Please wait. It's a music video. And I have to say, the quality appears to be really, really, really good. It'll be quite interesting to see then, you know, if you like downloaded some stuff onto this, what that would look like. I'm trying to access it is fun. There we go. Um, back, back, back. Oh, I guess it takes some getting used to. Right, so let's have a look at camera. Camera is video cap capture. We'll go with capture because whatever capture is will represent how good. Oh, oh. Let's look at that. Yeah, they're not good for these, are they? That's horrible. Right, let's come back. So come back. It's a clunky interface. I'll say that. Right, uh, PC camera, video recorder, capture. What's PC camera? So it's got a web camera icon. How does that work? Oh, obviously it's got to be plugged into my PC, I guess. Oh, well. Tool, browser, uh, cinema, photo, anything in photo. Uh, directory list. Yes, standard box, standard Japanese, Japanese, Chinese tats. The screen is all right. The screen is all right. Now, I said it had reasonable weight to it. It's starting to feel quite light. Backwards. But, yeah. I mean, it's 20 quid. What are you going to do? Metal Slug, that'll be Game Boy Advance, right, so, Street Fighter, hmm, well, now we'll go into game, well, let's go into settings, to see if I can stick it to, stick it to the man, display, right, so yeah, you can backlight stuff like that, power saving, language, TV out, so, I'm, this is where things get interesting, and we all, we find out if it's crap, it's gonna, is, gonna stick it to the TV. So right, I've gone into the settings, the bottom right hand uh, logo on the screen I just mentioned, and uh, you've got two choices, PAL or NTSC, but if you're playing it on, you know, a modern telly, I guess that's irrelevant, or is it if I'm playing on composite, so, anyway, you can see it, I can see it, back, 
Right, so what we've got display, backlight, brightness, power saving, date and time, obvious, language, TV out, advance, what's in advance, uh, play formation, select font, select key sign, format memory, oh, it's interesting, you can format cards on it, that's quite nice. Uh, anyway, that's the title screen I was talking about, where you get all these weird, seems to be like, I don't know, format, a given format for these, where you get a bunch of, what's it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 preset games, Let's have a look at uh, Tekken, it says Tekken 3, it's Tekken Advance on the Game Boy Advance. Now, this is probably going to look pants because I don't have high hopes for this feeling. That would be obviously where you can load your, load your save states. But uh, Game Boy Advance games aren't supposed to look good on a big TV, even if you have the Game Boy Player thingy, right? Yeah, Game Boy Player thingy. Look it up, that's what it's called. This isn't, this isn't a half bad game, by the way, right? Okay, whether it's still playable on this, I don't know. We'll go with uh, Horang, because if anyone's name has the word whore in it, it's kind of cool. Right, it's not free. Though. Is that slow now? I've got a gameplay of this, so I would have to go back and check. But it's, it's terrible. It looks terrible because it's on big screen, but. Okay. Start and select comes backwards, uh, then quit. Have a quick just gander at all the games on it. As I said, you've seen uh, you know what you can do with uh, well, you didn't get a very good one, but I don't want copyright strike. Of what you can do with um, video, video's all right on it. Don't know why they say MP5, but hey. So this is restart. Why am I forgetting what I've done immediately? Final fight one. Saucy! Oh, sound, ooh, sound seems a little bit awkward. This is a great form of the game, by the way. Game start, yeah. Okay, well ooh, it's a bit loud, isn't it? Okay. I'm on volume. No, that's not volume. That's volume. Let's try that again. Look at me, consummate professional. Hello. Again. Do I have to do the volume in the game? Oh well, fuck it. Apparently so. Yeah. Let's uh, have a quick gander at this. I'll just do two from each system. It's probably not a great way to sum it up. Okay. Come on, final fight. If you roll like me, then this is... Hey, it looks right. This is Gandalicious. Yeah, come get some. I like the fact that it names you when you're slapping them. This looks alright. Just a quick go. I quit. Quit to the end. See what I did there. Right. Uh, what else? Game Boy Advance. Now, obviously, you've got these icons at the bottom music, photo, cinema camera. Um, I'm not going to try and find the photo I took because there's no need to trust me. It's not going to work on this camera. It's going to end in tears. Right. Classic game. Let's have a look at that. My Little Pony, <laughs> Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance. Let's try the nub. Wow, the volume's gone quiet again. So classic game just seems to be Game Boy Advance. Let's come back then. You've seen two Game Boy Advances. Uh, games on demand. Ah, Game Boy Color 300, well, I don't know. I hope that I can't be asked to do the maths. That's right, maths has an S on the end. Um, Game Boy Advance, Famicom, let's have a look at Famicom. So that seems to be 12. Let's go with 1942. I know what that looks like. I've got gameplay on my channel. Got some more volume. Volume seems to. Uh... Oh, I forgot the sound effects in this game. Volume seems to be all over the shop on this. Right, well, that looks like it's running. Oh, yeah, that's the sound. Turn it down. It's a great game, by the way. I love the fact that it was made by a Japanese company and you're an American shooting, well, Japanese fighters. Screen tearing at the top. Other than that, it seems to be playing full speed. It seems to think they, the, um, yeah, this is not looking good. The, uh, the, ca the carry is still there. Right, well, skip that. Uh, quit. Nice. 
Okay, well, let's try. Oh, hang on. No, let's go down. Zombie Hunter. Let's go down. Just want to find. Uh, um, Afterburner. That's. Alfred Chicken. Arkanoid. Oh, no. Bad dudes. Go bad dudes. They're not bad dudes, looks like. Otherwise known as Dragon Ninja from my neck of the woods. Yeah, it's a North American, Japanese, European thing with names. It's like Fire Shark. That's Sky Shark. Hello? Like your white beaters. In the arcades, it's actually a really good game. I oh, really like it. Good version on the Spectrum as well. Ooh. You stole that from Green Ray or Rush and Attack. Rush and Attack. I don't need intros. You're slowing up the process, man. You're breaking up the Beatles. Looking at you, Yoko. No holding down? Wow. There we go. Hello. Bit flickery. Seems to play full speed. I never said it was a great game, but it seems to be alright. I mean, it's on a HD TV, which is kind of the point of defeat by me playing it. Or well, capturing it, I should say, with the camera. You can fucking. There we go. What are you. Oh, jump to that one. Yeah, so it seems to be. Hey, two tier Shinobi system. Seems to be, you know, alright. Well, I'll, 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 I'll skip, skip to the end. One more. Bad dudes. Bad dudes with Dragon Ninja, there you go, different name. Baseball, Billy Ball, Bird Week, Blaster Master, Blue Brothers, Blue Star. I just want one I know. Bubble Bubble. There we go. I love this on every version of it. That seems alright. Bob and Bob. What's the deal with them becoming human? Never understood that. Well, there we go. That's a... Uh... Alright. Yeah, you sneaky bastard. Thought you'd get me. What are they, pickles? Okay. Well, so it seems to handle... Nah, it's alright. Let's go to... Back again. Uh, we don't get more advanced. Sega Mega Drive. Sonic, I think. Right, now I'm going to say this. The analog stick seems to be doing shit. It seems to go and burst. Oh, the next three was that like on the say, Super Mario World? That's a bootleg. Um, Batman and Robin. There we go. Done the gameplay of that. Restart. So far, so good. Batman and eight characters. Okay. Yeah, I'm noticing some it will slow down. This is really impressive for Mega Drive games. It's quite late though, isn't it? Why does Batman look like he's wearing a corset? Now you just shut him off. Nice car. Oh, let's pause. Well, there you go, immediately. That game's broken, so let's come back. Quit. I this is this is not going well. Castle of Illusion! Earliest platform before Sonic. We all thought this was amazing. What well, is amazing? Oh, it's Who fucking cares? Just get in there, Mickey. Jumps up there, is it? Oh. Well, this seems to be skipping frames. It's not terrible, but yeah, this this is not boding well, is it? God, it was free. Yeah, I think we're noticing a pattern here. Uh, quit, quit to the end. Contra heart. Oh, this is. I guarantee this won't bloody work. Shame. Great game. Oh man. I such high hopes for you. Hardcore, sorry. My bad. Mispronunciation. Yeah, it's, well, you can see immediately the slowdown. 
How do you, if you are 64 bit, which I'm doubting now, how do you not be able to run a 16 bit game? That 10 quid thing I got can run this. Skip, 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 skip to the end. There we go. Yep, slow down. Frame missing. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, I think we know not to buy this. It's a shame, because I'm not good, you know, Chinese knockoff tacks. That's why I do these videos. Right, that's enough of that. <clears throat> Let's go to SNES. Backwards. Uh, Super Famicom. Uh, Mario's Time. Super Mario All Stars, I think that's a, a, a good one. Can't be asked to scroll all the way down to Super Mario World. It's nice to see that there are knockoff games on it. Right. No, we're gonna go for uh Hey Super Mario World. If you can't do this then you are dead to me. You are dead to me. Oh this came packaged with my my uh Super Famicom. I still can find the last two secrets. Thank you. Hello? Music's so tranquil. I should use that as white noise when I try and sleep during the daytime, shouldn't I? And uh, before I died, horrifically, you can st see that this is this is not running, for want of a better descriptive term. The button mapping's all weird. All weird. Right. I want leg it. There we go. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. This is awful. This is awful. How do you fuck up shit this badly? Let's go. I can jump on him though, can't I? It's been a while since I played this game. No, oh, where are you coming back? Weapons of mass destruction. Well, there you go. You can tell this is emulation on this thing is absolutely horrible. Let's recap. Right, to sum up, that probably wasn't the best way to show your machine, but as I always like to say, I like to do it, like, in the moment, off the cuff, so you get to see it go for it with me, for warts and all, which I can honestly say you saw with that. Right, so, 20 quid, keeping that in mind. Uh, Emulation-wise, odd choice of games. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, Super Famicom, Sega Mega, Sega Mega Drive. Yeah. Um, they all seem to be reasonably speed, but were f frame frame skipping or whatever. Though one of those NES games was fucked. I think the emulation on this is not great. The analog stick doesn't work at the best times. The buttons, I mean, the other ones. I'll get to them in a minute. They're cheap, but they do their job. We're all over the shop. The camera is useless. Didn't buy it for a camera. Oddly enough, the media player is actually really good, and the screen quality is really good, and the sound is um, well on that, but not the games. Um, Here's my problem with it. There is some good tat out there. Would I buy this? Absolutely not. You know, that's the funny thing is, you know, I think I might put in the title of this one, It's a Stinker. Would I buy this? Absolutely not. Would I recommend about it, I should say. But I guess the most disappointing thing, and I guess that's why it's funny to do these videos, hit or miss, you know, whether they work or not. The one I did previously, previous, previously, this, the PXP3, it's a tenor, right? Is it perfect? No, it runs... It runs the ROMs pretty much bang on. Way Check out my review. I'll link it in the doohickey down below. Way better than that. And it's a tenor. And the screen is as good as that. So, yeah. Half the price of this. Hmm. But, as I said, there is good shit out there. The, the PAP K3 Plus is a bloody amazing piece of kit. And proof. They haven't gone the route of copying the... Uh, the, um, the, the PSP, but proof that you can buy tats, Chinese knockoff tat, I should say, that works. So, yeah, this was just a quick overview and going through it, you know, with you guys. I could delve into it a lot more. I don't know if I got the taste in my mouth to do so. Might copy some ROMs onto it and try, but, you know, initial experience of it so far shows me, yeah, save your money. Anyway, thank you very much for, well, tolerating this, and uh, I'll see you later.